Welcome back everyone, Zeke Morgan here for another exciting gameplay review and today we are looking at the newly released A Way Out which offers a tailored and unique co-op experience whilst playing split screen or online and features no single player experience. While this might unsettle and put off some players, it's worth noting this would be the second game directed by Joseph Fares, or Fars, after Brothers A Tale of Two Sons and I think we can all agree on how great that game was. A Way Out follows two prisoners named Leo and Vincent, both of which have different mannerisms, speech patterns, dialogue choices, and solutions to the in-game problems. Whilst its roughly six-hour story stands out or starts off as like a prison break imitation, it soon develops into a revenge subplot, as both characters have their own reasons for defeating the main antagonist. The story ebbs and flows nicely and plays as a nice theatrical theatre experience, especially during the cutscenes, but it's really the ability to move and explore independently that really helps a way out to stand out. Even little things such as interacting with the NPCs can be entertaining, as both Leo and Vincent handle them differently. Quite a few times I found myself almost forcing my co-op buddy to speak with an NPC to see how their conversation would play out and how Leo and Vincent would deal with this situation being presented. A Way Out also features smaller co-op actions outside of the main game, from things as trivial as helping each other bust down a door, to lifting a log, to even manoeuvring fish. Additionally, this allows players a whole host of optional and extra activities to do, from playing darts, driving cars, arm wrestling, or even playing Connect 4. What really surprised me with A Way Out is its genre transcending narrative, as sometimes you're using stealth to take out guards to punching people in like a 2.5D side-scroller, which really helped the game feel fresh for me, and never really distracted or took anything away from the storytelling experience. Indeed, it's often a way out cinematic moments that help define it. For example, the unbroken camera shot as the pair escaping from a hospital is beautifully done, even as controls are traded back and forth the characters. Ultimately, a way out really made me feel for both Leo and Vincent and the surprise ending caught me off guard. Oh, and let's not forget the two endings which add further replayability for those wishing to find a way out. So there we have it, just a quick gameplay review of A Way Out. Um, if you enjoyed it, or if you have any comments, then please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a lovely day.